everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sydney and I hope this video finds you well. I think God's put it on my heart to, to tell you all about my journey to finding Him. And so I just pray that you're receptive and you're open-minded and that, you know, this message will, will help benefit you if you need it. And um, yeah, I'm just super excited and I'm, I'm grateful that you even clicked to watch this video. So thank you again and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before I met God and before I started having a relationship with Him, I was a complete mess, I tell you. Um, I was lonely. I was very depressed. I felt that I could make myself whole in other people, right? So I had a lot of relationships and a lot of heartbreak and a lot... Of, of breaking hearts as well because I really thought that this concept would work out for me. Um, as you can imagine, it did not work out. Um, for years and years and years, I just felt lonely and depressed. Even in my relationships and my friendships, um, I felt that, you know, there was always something missing. I lacked confidence. Um, I lacked self-esteem, I lack, I lack self-love, and this is all leading up to how I found him, you know, because sometimes you get to this point where you're like, I cannot do this myself. I need to figure out another way because this is not working out for me. And I had gotten to that point, um, you know, one of my relationships had ended and I just felt like I needed to try something new. You know, I didn't want to keep doing this over and over and over because it was not working for me. And so I started going to church regularly and you know, one day God spoke to me and that was the day that I agreed to to let him come into my heart and I repented of my sins and I you know, decided, okay, what do I have to lose, you know? And so once I got to that point, I realized, you know, I have everything to gain from this. And so if everyone around me is telling me how amazing, you know, the love of God is and how he'll heal me, then, hey, I got to do this because I can't do this on my own. And so in realizing that, it was kind of like the easiest and best decision of my life and I didn't know that at the time but I know that today and it's amazing to be able to look back and reflect on that and so today <laughs> today I am I'm so happy like I've never genuinely been so happy before in my life and it's amazing because you know, I had grew, grown up in the church and I knew God and, you know, even throughout my high school and college years, I knew God and I, you know, I never had that connection with him. And so I would still be doing my own thing, still be, you know, saying I'm Christian, you know, I believe in God, yada, yada, yada. But believing in God and being Christian and, and having that title is way different than having a relationship with him. Having love, having dependency and faith and, and, and pure joy, you know. And so just recently, really, I've discovered what the love of God actually means and how that's so different, you know. Um, I think a lot of us get caught up in the titles and they get caught up in um, what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. We get caught up in that, we get so caught up in that. And really, I'm just here to encourage you to just have a relationship with Him. Let Him work in your life, give Him your problems, give Him your worries and, and let Him show you that he can work in your life like no one else. And so once I started doing that, I realized that one, whatever I was doing before was just <laughs> not even okay. 
but two that um our God is good and that he's faithful and that if you're faithful to him he'll be faithful to you I just wanted to come on here today and let you know that because I am a prime example of how he can take someone that's so destroyed and so hurt and so depressed and and build you up into the person that he's called you to be you know I never thought I'd be this person today I never thought that I would would find love and comfort in him and not in another person and that was kind of like the biggest thing for me you know I always felt lonely with someone or by myself you know and to to finally start loving and appreciating yourself and and that's all you know glory to him and so I really just wanted to Hawks outside. Um, I really just wanted to come on here and and let you all know that. Um, I hope that you'll come to me with any questions that you may have. We could discuss it. Um, I don't have all the answers, but I know that through my personal testimonies and and what I've experienced, when you actually put your faith in Him. And you say, I trust you, God. I want you to work in my life. And you genuinely mean that. He will be faithful to you. And I think that's the most important thing. It's not about acting. It's not about being in church and acting and, you know, whatever it is. It's about genuinely trusting him and loving him and, and allowing him to work in your life. And so, really, really, um... I just pray that this can be a safe space that we can talk about things together and that we can explore things and I can answer any questions that you may have you know from my own personal experience and um, I just encourage you to try you know to try it you never know until you try and that was kind of the point that I was at, you know, and I, I pray that not everyone has to get to such a low point in order to find God, but some of us do. Some of us are hard-headed, right? And so if you have to do it that way, you, you have to, but I just pray that maybe I can show you um, through myself and my own experiences and my journey that, that you can just pray and that you can genuinely be changed through him and through his love and through his faithfulness and so yeah i'm just super excited and i'm i'm thankful that you're here and that you're listening and that um you know even if you don't believe or even if you don't you know want to tie yourself to a religion or whatever it is you're watching for a reason and I just hope that that you know that you know and I just hope that you can pray about it and um, yeah I'm super excited This was a good one.